Yo, 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 it's your boy Alex, and we are back at it again. It's become the trademark, I guess. <laughs> but man, we are at half of a year, six months, guys. I've been freeforming for six months, and it's been going good, uh, going really, really good, actually. But I am going to show you guys a 360. So I'm going to get a white background behind me, make it a little easier. But uh, let me actually get closer to the light. So here's the top. You got the front view. We got my right side. These dreads are a little bit longer. They're more solid, like they're locked closer to the root. And they're just really, really tight. Like these are solid dreadlocks. These were the ones that locked up really early on in my journey. And then my left side. They're a little more fluffier, a lot more, I call them free for me. Um, the tips are definitely locked and it's it's locked well throughout the middle of the dread, but it's like the root is a really thick afro. So that's how this side works, I'm guessing. And then uh, I'm gonna try to get the back for you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I think you could, I think you could. We'll spin around just in case the background started off. Still got the high top up here, or the mid top, whatever you want to call it. Just that on that. So yeah, man, it's going good. So the pretty in-depth 360 there. I love these two in the front, man. This one here is pretty locked at the root it's locked like right here and it's a uh, split in it's not really a congo I, I don't i mean they were two little like baby dreads but then they just formed together and just the tips didn't lock i guess so that has that cool little look there and that's how long that one is um and then i got my other one over here and this one is a little more fluffier at the root and it's locked about right here and then this is all just locked as well. It's like this one I can pull. See, you can see there, it's a lot of afro. Like this is just regular wavy, crinkly hair. And then the lock starts here. So that's what I mean, like more free for me. Cause this side is like that. A lot of my dreads are like that. Like if I was to pull them, you'd see a lot of like just regular afro and then it's just randomly locked. But then this one over here is locked at the root. And that's how all these are over here. Like they're locked can you see that they're locked more at the root and i don't know it's just weird i got this weird one here but yeah they do some weird stuff man but um i'm loving them dude it's um i'm finally at that point where i know what i like and i'm down to the products that i i'm done like not done i'd say i, I will still expand but i was in that stage pretty much this whole six months i was pretty much trying out stuff like I've tried one other shampoo because I've, I've liked the first one I got really a lot, a lot. And I've been trying oils. That's my thing. I've been, you know, I wash my hair and for the next week, I'll try an oil out. And then when I wash my hair the next week, I'll try a different oil. See what I like, see what my hair does. And I finally come to the conclusion. So I tried um, this Shea Moisture African Black Soap. Um, this says dandruff control shampoo with tea tree oil and willow bark extract. They changed the name. It used to be called the deep cleanser with tea tree oil and willow tree bark extract or whatever, but they changed the name to dandruff control. So I was a little discouraged from getting it at first since I don't have dandruff. I didn't know how that would affect my hair. And at first I liked it a lot. It smells amazing. Like I'd wash my hair and my hair is not even that long to be like, in my face like my nose and stuff but like i'd just be walking and like a breeze of wind would come by and i would smell my hair and i'm like oh my gosh i wish my hair was longer so i can just put it in my nose and smell it like it smells amazing but what i started to realize that it would make my hair really really soft it would it would make all of my dreads like not as tight and locked as they feel like these feel solid, like I squeeze them and it just, it's a little fluffy, but I feel like solid hair in there. And that's how all of these feel, like they are locked and I'm comfortable with them. 
but when I would wash my hair with that shampoo, they would feel fluffy and like if the wind was to blow, they'd like flop all over. Like they were just really light and fluffy. With these, the wind blow and it's like all of these, they're just like tentacles moving. Like I just love um, the way my hair reacts when I use this shampoo. And this is the one, I bought this bottle when I started my journey six months ago. And I have that much left. You can see the line there. I have that much left. So it's a little less than half the bottle, but it's lasted me half of a year. And I still probably got like months left in this bottle. Because I used to wash my hair very, very often when I first started. Because I was really avid um, on keeping them clean. I didn't want dirty dreads. I wanted them a lot clean and fresh. I didn't want to have any problems. So I was washing my hair pretty often. Now I'm at the point where I go a week. I mean, if not perfectly out a week, it's like eight or nine days. Uh, it might be a little sooner, depending on what I'm doing. If I go do something and I feel like I'm sweating or uh, like if I, for instance, like if I go cut the grass or something, you know, I'd, that's something I'd want to wash my hair like right after because I don't want like that grass stuff or, you know, just obvious stuff like that. But pretty much a week I'd wash my, uh, every week I'd wash my hair. And then I've been through so many oils. You can go back and check my videos. I've tried a bunch of oils, almond oil, olive oil, uh, just, uh, just so many. Like I've had some crazy oils like rosemary. Um, I've had some crazy oils, man, but pretty much my favorite, coconut oil. I, For me personally, you cannot go wrong with this stuff. All I do is wash my hair. When I get out the shower, my hair is soaking wet, put some coconut oil in it. I'll just put it in my palms, move my dreads out the way, and get it on my uh, on my you know scalp and my root. And I'll just let the water you know move that around my head because once the water and the oils mix together, you know it starts moving around on your scalp and stuff. That's why you have water drip down your face. You know it's just running through your scalp. So I let that get all around, and by the time it dries, I, I will use a um, a blow dryer, a hair dryer, whatever you want to call it. Um, my mom and my little sister have one in the extra bathroom upstairs, so I'll steal that, use some cold air, and just, you know, make sure it's dry, and then when I'm in the car, it, it air dries that too. So I'll try to get it as dry as I can with the blow dryer, and then from there on, it pretty much air dries, and it's pretty dry. Uh, I'll always feel it, make sure, and the root's never wet. Um, but yeah, the oils, I'll pretty much put oils in my hair every morning um, once I wake up. I'll, you know, just mess around with it to fix the bed head and um, I'll put some oils in it maybe like every other day if I or just whenever I feel like I need to and I just go from there. Um, always keep my brush handy because I do still have the high top like I said. So I'll wake up and, you know, push push my hair up like this or something and just brush the side hairs, you know, make it look neat and stuff like that. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, this month, hair has been locking up good. Um, I had a few loose hairs that I kind of helped out. Um, just like with some loose hairs, uh, I can't find any right now. But because it's pretty locked up, I just washed my hair today, and um, I'm really surprised. Like I have less and less loose hairs. But as you see, like this one right here, this is what I mean by it. this is what my loose hairs are like. Like I don't mind the loose fuzzy hair like that that doesn't bother me at all but when i say loose hairs i finally found it it's like this like this is just regular hair like that's just my regular hair super curly it's like that long and as you see it curls and condenses back so when i have loose hairs like that i'll play around with it at the root and see where it's connected to or where it wants to connect to and i'll kind of just like twist it around the dread that it's right there with and that's pretty much all I do for my loose hairs. Like, I know I have a lot, like, under this side. Like, boom. Like, I just found one right there. Like, that's just loose, regular, like, non-dreaded hair. So I'll just, like, play at the root. I'll see, like, okay, it's connected to this dread. And then I'll just grab all that loose hair that's around it and just help twist it into that dread. So throughout the day, if it, you know... Pretty much what you're doing by doing that you're just raveling them up and then they unravel and kind of tangle up and that's how it locks and then it starts to mature from there but um that's pretty much all i do um i used to finger twist these a lot but they're so tight and so solid that if i twist them 
they just unravel back to where they are. So I used to just sit there and like finger twist them a bit. And I don't even do that anymore. Literally, I just don't even touch my hair. I try not to put it up in that uh, hair tie anymore too much. Um, what I used to do, because you can see my uh, last video, when I take it off, the hair seems really long and straight. And I just liked it because it would make my hair look longer. So once it would fall down after, you know, gravity takes over, it would be really long and hanging in my face. But people were, you know, saying some facts out there. You know, it's like it does mess up the way they grow and stuff like that. And I felt that on uh, one of the dreads, um, you get those elbows. But um, Gunther the Great explained those on one of his videos. But it's where when you have a hair tie and it's just like crinkled from where the hair tie lays at. And over time, I mean, they can maybe grow into that shape. But it does definitely affect the way they grow, especially when they're starting off. Because I'm still kind of, you know early on in my stage of dreadlocks so they're still maturing even though I feel pretty comfortable with them but um yeah so I kind of just stopped and um another main reason too I felt like it was like I don't know it was just making a lot of uh little like loose hairs connect with dreads I didn't want them to connect to and by not putting in the hair tie as much it's just my dreads are doing their own thing so one last look and I'm going to go ahead and sign off. This video got pretty long. I don't want to make them too long. Um, not much changes. It's just little details I just want to let you guys know about and stuff. But um, yeah, so this has been half a year. And my next video, I'll, um, I did want to get to making little side videos in between my month updates. But school and all that stuff, we'll see how it goes. I may or may not. But um. If not, I'll see you guys on month seven, and we'll see what kind of progress we're looking at then. So you guys, take it easy. Peace.